our county is a huge county. We're 3,510 square miles, and not any part of our county is an island. We're all, we're all in this together. In addition to the problems with design or the old design of this road, uh, the problems have been exacerbated by recreational vehicle use, particularly trucks. Um, folks have come out here and they have fun by driving around in the winter during wet weather in a lot of these old through cuts um, and the object is primarily to dig up the road. Unfortunately all that sediment that they dig up ends up going down into the river. Well this is where it all ends up. There's a direct connection between the little North Fork of the Noyo here and that road that we're looking at, the Sherwood Road at the top of the ridge. That ridge top is about 1,200 feet in elevation, yet those through cuts channel the water down to a gulch that comes all the way down here to the Little North Fork and affects it directly. This is a prime nursery area for juvenile coho and steelhead. Uh, both of them are listed species. This is also a spawning area for those fish. Um, the sediment coming down, that fine sediment, plugs plugs up the reds, the steelhead and coho nests, and it, and it affects their ability to feed uh, by, by muddying the water. Not all of our roads are paved, and, and I enjoy dirt roads, a lot of people enjoy dirt roads, and there's not a need to pave every bit of public access available to us, but dirt roads bring an inherent amount of temptation Kids under the age of, uh, say, 21, go out and do some massive four-wheel driving, and and they, especially in the winter time, they they get off-road and they'll tear up things. And I don't think they really understand the amount of environmental damage they're doing, not just to the road, but to the downstream, to the fish habitat. Here in Fort Bragg, we're raising tons of money to help restore the salmon population, and it just takes one kid, one hour, and one vehicle to basically undermine, no pun intended, the work that's been done to get the fish coming back up that stream. I understand that uh, folks come out here to have fun with the vehicles, but on the other hand, hopefully uh, maybe some of these folks would recognize that this affects fish, and if they're fishermen, it decreases their, their, their catch, their fishing ability. Hi, my name's Alex and I'm a senior at Mendocino High School and I really enjoy four-wheeling. It's, it's a passion of mine. It's something that I love to do. I know a lot of my friends love to do it and it's, it's something that's a, you know, a big, big hot topic issue in this county. And the fact of the matter is it's not going to go away. I'm a member of the Blue Ribbon Coalition um, and that's, that's a group that tries to work with both sides on you know, issues about off-roading, environmental issues and try and find a balance you know between people who off-road their rights you know their right to be there and use the land and the people who don't want to see it get torn up and you know they, they work to find some kind of a way to balance the issue out and we have some wonderful recreational areas and, and one of the areas that is not taken advantage of that people should use more is east of Ukiah it's called the Cal mountain recreational area. They have an office in Ukiah, they have some maps available that show you where the off-road vehicle roads are, and this is our recreational area. You know, we pay taxes and our federal government takes care of recreational area for us. I want to be very specific about this. The Mendocino County Sheriff's Office will not cut brakes on the activities that we've talked about. There's not warnings that we're going to be given. We're not going to tell kids, don't do that again. We're going to be towing vehicles. We're going to be sending either tickets with the kids or they're going to jail. This is a serious thing. If we want to bring these fish back from the edge of extinction, four-wheelers, like other outdoor recreationists, are going to have to play smarter. And in this case, it means driving in areas where we don't put dirt in the stream. Four-wheelers, and, and off-road users, like everyone else, are going to have to do their part.